name is Crystal and I'm back with a new video. Hi guys, so today's video I'm going to be doing is actually um, like my cheat video because I actually wanted to do this video for quite a while but I was kind of like saving it for like a mm, you know when you feel like a little bit tired and you know sluggish kind of thing you do that video and today's the day's honey so TMI my period just came so um, I feel very very trashy very ugh kind of thing so yeah don't feel great so anyway i didn't have any like creative juices to do any like makeup looks or whatsoever earlier today so i decided to just go and dye my hair so of course this is my before i guess you can tell that's the black roots everything and you can tell it's quite a bit i think this is like what four months four months of not dyeing my hair i think so yeah so anyway um, enough rambling, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy videos like K-Beauty, Cosmetics and Skincare. So if you're interested in that, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. I would love to have you around. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, this is the Miss and Son's Hello Bubble uh, in collaboration with Blackpink. We're gonna dye my hair like this brown, this shade of brown. And uh, hopefully I turn out as pretty as Blackpink. So, if not, I'm suing. And uh, this is in the shade Ka Ash Khaki, so it's this. And uh, obviously, I know my hair will not turn out like this kind of color because you can tell my hair is like pretty dark, and I've never bleached my hair before. It's always this type of like very dark, dark brown. So yeah. So the shade is like this. So I have like dark hair, maybe even darker than this. So it will turn out something like this, and I actually I'm perfectly fine, okay with it. So yeah, I don't really mind. So I have used box dye before, and. Um, this kind of like hair color that you see over here, I is the Lise, I believe, Ash Khaki. If I'm not wrong, I really don't remember which one I actually use. So yeah, um, yeah. So normally they'll come with a pump, something like this. Um, the dye itself. So they come with one packet of the foam color itself, and then like this, you pour into this kind of bottle, and then you like kind of like shake it up. Conditioner. Oh, okay. So this is the conditioner. This is little packet is the conditioner, and we also get like a perfect. Serum 3 Minute Salon Mask. So you also get this uh, salon mask kind of thing from Miss Zons. And they also give you like a little cape to protect your clothes, I guess. So that's great. Alright, so they give you directions as well. Preparation before colouring hair and skin patch test. Okay, you know box dyes, they always tell you to do a, like a patch test. Well, sis, I like to live life dangerously and uh, I don't do the, the patch test, okay? So they actually provide you gloves and a apron as well. I have my gloves on right now, okay? So now we have to put the gloves on. Open solution 2, which is this big bottle here. And add all of solution 1 and solution 3 secret magic oil, okay? Pump some this pump and then put this thing in. Gently shake the bottle about 20 times in circular motions until the content is mixed well. So like that. Like wine. <laughs> okay. So they're showing to like not to not like oh my god, can you even see? They're showing to not like, you know, shake it up and down like the Lisey one, I guess, but you know, just like like wine, fancy wine, you know. You just imagine you're at the French restaurant, just like Ah, oh, this wine is so good. I actually should take out my specs. Um, I'm gonna be blind as a bat from now on, so if you see me doing this, it's because I can't see anything, so here we go. Oh, so it's like that. There's literally no color. The Lise ones, you usually have color, so I'm quite surprised by that. mentioned that I actually paid what what seven dollars for this uh, hair dye if not like about nine whatever is less than ten Singapore dollars so that's uh, really affordable I think this dye depends on where you get it from it can be quite pricey from what I know I'm not too sure so uh, yeah but for me at least uh, it, it was really affordable and normally I use box dye my Lise box dye it's like about like what depends on where I get it as well like it can be nineteen dollars it can be seventeen it can be thirteen um, I really don't know, so yeah, it really depends on where I get my box dye from. But I bought this online, it's probably more reliable seller, so yeah, I think hopefully it works. 
This is like my first time trying out Miss Son's uh, hair dye formula, I would say. So I would say my hair is pretty like well soaked at this point. So from my hair length, uh, I think it's pretty well soaked but I'll definitely add more product uh, into my hair. So this is what it's left, about this much. I don't know if this is in focus but yeah, about this much left. I think it's still a lot, like a lot, I can put pumping, pumping. About the smell, um, if you have ever used like the Lise uh, hair dye, you know there's this like ammonia smell that just fills the room and everything. This one doesn't really have an ammonia smell. It smell. It's more like a like a light soapy smell, if you get what I mean. So I mean it's hair dye, so it's most probably like, I don't know, alkaline. What am I saying even at this point? Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, the glove popped. Shit, so this is like my hand right now, and my hand is gonna get dyed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh boy, yep. The gloves. Listen, Sons, you snitched on me, sister. It's okay, I'll probably just wash my hands, totally fine. Uh, but I gotta do this quick because I want the, don't want my, the dye to stay, I stay in my hand for too long. So I'm gonna make it quick. I guess this just means that I have yaoi hands. Like, look at this. It's, it's broken already. Like, it's official. Crystal has yaoi hands. There's a lot of hair dye, man. Holy crap. So yeah, I gotta go wash my hands now because... Jesus Christ, my hands are gonna get dyed like really bad. So I I'm I'm gonna be right back. Two thousand years later. Alright, hello people. Um I am back from my shower. Actually it's been about like what an hour since I stopped recording, but yeah, I took my own sweet time to just dry my hair and stuff like that. So you can see that my hair, it's uh dyed pretty well. You can see the roots are covered already. So um Actually, in real life, the uh, undertone of green is there actually. On camera, it doesn't really look like it because I think, you know, under LED lights, you know, kind of thing. It doesn't really turn out that well. It looks like another shade of brown, but honestly speaking, I'm actually pretty easy to please when it comes to like 40 shades of, I don't know, dark brown. So <laughs> yeah, I just want my dark roots to be covered stuff like that so yeah i'll probably insert like um pictures of me in daylight you know hair and daylight color so yeah that's that um i already kind of expected let me just get the box here so you can see like my hair looks nothing like the box so i already knew it was not gonna turn out like that because i wanted to turn out like this I have to bleach my hair like this and I don't really want to bleach my hair because I know my hair is pretty healthy in a sense. My hairdresser advises me to not bleach my hair. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, my the hair colour is actually something like this. So I'm actually pretty pleased. It's pretty accurate actually. So yeah. Let me just talk about my experience in the bathroom washing the hair dye off. Um, Normally when I use the Lise hair dye, there is always um, this kind of like ammonia, very very strong ammonia smell to it. While this one, actually the scent is quite pleasant, pleasant in a, in a sense. There's no strong like hostile ammonia smell to it. So uh, that was pretty nice. Um, eventually the hair dye washed off like kind of like dark grey blue kind of colour. I think it's also because I put a lot of hair dye in my hair as well. Because it took two washes for the hair dye to be completely uh, off my hair. So, yeah. I, that could be on my part as well. But I'm like, hey, more is more. I just use more shampoo to wash all of the, the dye out. Because uh, in both washes, my hair was still kind of... that. You know, in the foam, there's still that bluey, bluey colour. I was like, ooh, there's still hair dye. Let's wash that off. So, yeah, I got rid of that. Um... This, this, what you, what do you call this? This Perfect Serum 3 Minute Salon Pack. This one that comes inside the box. This smells very, very perfumey. If you hate smells um, like the artificial floral perfume smell, this is gonna violate your nose. My god, it's gonna violate your nostrils. <laughs> I personally, okay, I wouldn't count myself very sensitive to smell, but I would say that I 
despise this type of smells. You know, that kind of cheap perfume, um, that floral smell. I really, really do not, do not like that kind of smell. Even when it comes to Chanel, Dior, all that kind of smell, I really absolutely despise it. Especially when girls, they like drown themselves in this type of smell and they just become a walking stick of it. I'm just like, get away from me. But the formula itself of this is actually pretty nice, I would say, because after, when I was first washing my hair, I actually used conditioner, my Diamond SG um, conditioner. My hair still felt a little bit grippy in a sense, like, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but still felt a little bit grippy. So the moment when I put this hair mask and then I, you know, just left it on for about like five minutes and, you know, my hair is like completely smooth right now and it feels super nice. So I kind of appreciate that. I really like that because I can't be sitting in the shower on a hair mask for like, I don't know, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. That's a bit ridiculous. So after washing off the hair mask, I, you know, just take my shower, dry off everything. And I go and blow dry my hair and now it's uh, pretty smooth. I don't feel any dead knots in my hair whatsoever. Um, smell wise, like right now for this uh, serum thingy, uh, I still can smell it. But it's not as intrusive as originally in the shower because in the shower it was just... My nostrils were just flaring and just like, what is this smell? <laughs> so I really did not like the smell in the shower itself but this, you know, like, outside of it, like, I still can smell it. It'll probably, like, take a day or two for it to disappear, I guess, so. Overall, I think the hair dye worked out pretty well, especially for, like, 9 7 to $9. Dollars. Sis, this is great. Um, I actually really do like it. Somehow, plus, it comes with a cape. Like, the Lise one doesn't really come with a cape either, so I will always have to... Wish on, a, wish on a star that hope and hope that like my clothes don't get stained from it, so yeah. I think my only gripe with this whole experience was the gloves breaking on me because, you know, I guess I really do have big hands for, well, a regular Asian girl, I guess. I don't know. Um, yaoi hands, but I'm, I, am I blessed with it? I don't know. But the gloves were pretty small, so I guess I recommend that if you have, well, big hands like mine. I don't know how do you want to compare it, but if you have big hands like mine, like this. Um, why did I do that? <laughs> if you have big hands like mine, I guess, then you are better off just using your own gloves and just dyeing your own hair with your dead pair, set of gloves. The ones provided are really small, so just take a note on that. So yeah, um, but overall, it was a great experience. Like I said, I'm pretty easy to please when it comes to like um, dark browns kind of thing. I just want my dark roots to be covered. So yeah, the dark, my dark roots are covered and everything. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't come out close. So my dark roots are covered and everything. And yeah, I can see the difference, at least to me. So yeah. Anyway, I think that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if this video is kind of like crappy and not what you're kind of expecting. So yeah, but once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with more better content, I guess. <laughs> Just not this week. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video, which is next week. I always post weekly, so you can always stick around and check it out. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!